how to repair. In this video I'm going to show you a simple repair. Now I did a wash on this machine yesterday and the machine had finished its cycle. I turned the power off to the machine, came back in this morning to find the drum had filled with water. Now this can normally occur for two reasons. Firstly, sometimes people have fitted their washing machines to sink units and the water is running back from the sink into the pump and filling this way. But if you've got crystal clear water in the machine, it normally means that the water valve is dripping when the power is off the machine. When you turn the power off the machine, the valve should be completely closed. But due to sediment being in the fresh water supply, sometimes little granules of sand or something which builders have accidentally got into the system when work has been carried out in your street. Sometimes bits of silt, uh, sand, can jam in the valve or the diaphragm on the valve may fail. Now I did another video on how to, oh, this is a few years ago, on how water valves work. It is possible on some occasions to repair the water valve but on most occasions you've got to replace it. So let me show you what to look out for when this occurs. Now as you can see the power is off the machine, the water supply hasn't been touched. I'm just going to take out the soap drawer, put that on the top, and if you look closely in here, and I'll zoom in for you, going at the back you can see a steady trickle of water. And this is due to the valve actually failing. So we're going to replace the valve on this machine and rectify the problem. So the first thing you're going to need to do is unplug the machine from the electricity supply. If it's in the house you're going to need to pull the washing machine out and you'll need to turn the water supply off to the washing machine. So with the water supply off, take off the hose. Now you have to remove the lid two screws. Different machines will vary. Some will have three screws and some may even have screws on the side at the front. On this machine the lid comes backwards and we can take the lid off. So as you can see the valve is just got to be lifted out of position but first we need to take these two hoses off just make note of where each hose goes because one goes to the condenser department and the other hose on this model goes to the fill department. On some washing machines you may even have three or four water valves. One would be for a pre-wash, one would be for a main wash, the other may be with regards a condenser tumble dryer, washer dryer and that, that may be used for the condensing system and of course the fourth valve will be the conden uh, con uh, conditioner. So we'll just undo these clips, slide them back. Now we need to pull the pipe back. Be careful these edges are normally very sharp. Bit of water still in the pipe. If you do drop any water down do make sure you it hasn't dropped on any electrics because when you plug the machine back in you wouldn't want to create a short. This is a block connector so we just have to press the button on the top and the wiring comes out. Now this valve is one of the Bosch's so you have a circuit board on top of the valve. Other, other valves have just spade connectors or block connectors on each individual solenoid. Uh, you can find all the valves that you need at the website. We sell, not only do we sell new now, we also have a recycling plant which is uh, basically dismantling machines with knackered bearings uh, because there's so many on the market now with uh, bearings that are gone and they make drums that you can't actually change the bearings. Bosch is one of the offenders on that. They've actually produced machines now which have sealed drums. This is an older machine and this doesn't have a sealed drum. So there's no screws on this water valve. Normally you have two screws or you have a couple of little plastic lugs that you have to press and then twist. 
on this washing machine water valve I'll try and not block the camera you need to put a screwdriver under just to lift this plastic tab at the bottom then you wiggle it down and it will come back into the machine and there's the water valve you've got a filter here this will normally be clogged this one's pretty clear so somehow the valve has failed most probably due to the diaphragms actually failing that's the rubber that's inside so we're just going to replace this here we have a replacement valve uh, this is a spare I had in the workshop you can easily check if the water valve is good you can connect the hose to the water valve turn the water on and you should have no water coming out of here this is because these coils need 240 volts to activate to lift the plunger and let water through but you can see all about how water valves work in detail uh, on the other video that I have and I'll put it in the description link below right we have the replacement valve that I'm going to fit to the machine here but as you can see I've connected the hose to it already and I haven't connected anything that's because I'm going to test the valve to make sure no water is coming out of here now I've just turned the water on and there's no water coming out of here so I'll just turn the water off and I'm going to fit the old water valve to show you the difference so I'm going to face it down and as you can see the valve is dripping so the first thing I'm going to do is fit the valve into location that's fitted now I'm going to connect the two hoses make sure you put the clips on properly connect the electrics back up and we're ready to test the machine to make sure both valves are working and the machine is back in functional order so I just turned the water supply on and as you can see now there is no water dripping down here it's all dry going to connect the electricity supply up the first thing we need to do is empty the machine because it's still full of water so I'm just going to empty the machine quickly so the machine has actually finished emptying so I'm just going to turn the machine off I'm now going to turn it to a normal wash this will be to check that water is going into the left hand dispenser and that's all that matters and then if the machine goes through a full cycle it means the other water valve electronically was working correctly as well so I'll just press start and we can see that the machine is filling on the main wash Bosch always does this it starts and then it will go through onto the other chamber that is all working perfectly let the machine go through a full cycle and make sure that the comfort is taken and you know both water valves are working correctly thank you very much for watching this video remember in the description below there is another video on how water valves work and remember inside your door you will find the full model number of your machine if it's a Bosch take the full model number put it into the website under the search and then put the word valve or water valve after it and you should find the correct valve for your machine and as I said we have new and also now because we're caring for the environment we also have recycled appliances which are good parts which have come off broken machines thank you very much indeed for watching this video remember you can always support the website by buying a severe thanks for watching